blood, but was this here before? Dried. Must be from when Harley shot Bane's men. Hey, Avesta, does this look familiar? We call it a liminal device, a not quite as powerful phalanx key. Some agency field ops are issued one, and if they left it, they must have been rushed. An agency team has been here. Not as good as something Lucius would have made. I'm still keeping it. Someone's damaged this. Oh. oh, God. I thought this thing was supposed to preserve him. Obviously, it failed. Wait. Decomposition is actually accelerated. They purposefully disabled the capsule. If that's the case, then they were trying to destroy the body. It's textbook asset denial, but it's some sloppy work. They were moving fast. Too fast. The rapid decay. I wonder if that's a side effect of the virus, or being in that capsule, or both. Bruce, why? If Harley decides to release the virus, that sample may be the most valuable weapon we have. Alfred, I did a bioscan of Riddler's corpse. I'm sending the data to you. The body is breaking down, so do your best with it. Received, Bruce. It's... Oh my. This may take a bit of time. What is it? They're gone. The vials are gone. So, we're having a pretty good day. They ruin Riddler's body and the vials are gone. So... Keep looking. C4. Plastic explosive. Only a little, though. Must be remnants from something bigger. I don't remember Bane making bombs, and it doesn't match Freeze's M.O. Wonder if whoever took the vials also made a bomb. C4 certainly doesn't sound like the agency. Who then? Harley? John? Even money on both. So, Waller takes the blood and has Riddler's body destroyed. That would make her the only player who could create a viable Project Lotus sample. Having all the pieces to the puzzle. Oh my god. Bruce. The Pact all had problems. Medical problems they needed solving. And if Waller's the solution, she can make them work for her. She's not above using leverage to get people under her thumb. I mean, look what she did with my identity. Harley. The virus.
You came? Where is she, John? Where's Harley? I don't think we've been formally introduced. Doe. John Doe. <laughs> you seem kind of familiar. She's a friend, John. Our friend. I had a friend. It didn't work out. Oh, hey! Hold on. Are you two-timing cat lady, Bruce? <clears throat> she was here. Wait, she was here? Yeah. Where is she now, John? This is important. You got some real nerve. You know that? Buddy! Remember? The cafe. Just manipulate her, John. Then I stuck my neck out for you. Way out. Bane nearly ripped my head off. And for what? She flew the coop. And I, I have nothing. You steered me wrong. At every turn. Every bad piece of advice. Everything blew up in my face. This isn't my fault. Harley betrayed us. Both of us. Yeah. But you weren't in love with her. There's no point. It's over. The pact. The dream. Us. Not yet it's not. She's still out there with a deadly virus in a city full of innocent people. Call me when you got something I care about. It always surprises me how heavy guns are. This was hers. It's gonna be okay, John. I promise. I care, John. You know that. I'm nearly out of reasons to believe you anymore, Bruce. What are you doing, John? Leaving. There's nothing left for me here. A lot of bad memories. And a weird smell. John, I understand you want to run. I've run before. My problems, they just come with you. No matter how far you go. Nope. Pretty sure I can get away from that smell. Damn it, John. Listen to me. I need to find Harley. I don't want to do this anymore. Not for you. Not for her. Certainly not for Gotham. I don't care. John, please. This is important. I know it hasn't been easy for us, but I am your friend. Okay, buddy. Look, the agency was here. They took the blood. I was up here, in a very dark place. They didn't find me, but Harley did. I told her what happened to Riddler. She gave me this. And where do you think Miss Quinn is now? We'd like to find her sooner rather than later. I don't want to find her. My heart can't take another kicking. I don't ever want to see her again. She ruined me. I, I can't. Help me bring her to justice. It's what she deserves, John. I just can't say no to you, Bruce. You gotta keep an eye on this guy. That Wayne Charm gets him every time. You sure know how to spin things. All the right ways to uh, twist my arm. It's going to take me a few hours to find her. I have to check a few places, do some things. Okay, we'll come with you. <laughs> no, you won't. There will be plenty of time for John and Bruce later. This is... I need to do this alone. I'll call you when I find something. Wait, hold on. We'd really like your help, John. Are you sure you won't reconsider us coming with you? 
I did. And it's a hard pass. It's okay. Go. Bruce, let's talk about this. He'll come through. He's done it before. It's funny. When you first walked through that door, I honestly thought you came here to check on me. I'm going to track down those vials in the agency's cold storage. Be careful. Thanks. Alfred, how's the bioscan analysis going? Nearly complete. I should have it ready for you when you arrive. I'm on my way. I'm back. I'm taking over at the computer. Please don't. Help. Help, can you hear me? Alfred? Oh, uh, uh, is it? What's, what's the matter? Uh, Thomas, uh, let's, let's chat. Now's the time. It won't be long. So much to do. Shh, 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 Alfred, Alfred, it's just a dream. Uh, oh, God. I will not be quiet, Thomas. Martha and Master Bruce aren't safe with those people in the house. No, you, you need to think of your family. Please, please wake up. Bruce, I... Wh wh where am I? Easy, easy. You're in the cave. Take your time, think back, and tell me exactly what happened. Ah, oh, no, it was... It was nothing. I was... I was working and I felt... I felt dizzy for a moment. Uh, I, I must have been more exhausted than I realized. Uh, and, well, basically that's all there is to it. Hey, 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 hey. Slow down, slow down. Relax. I'm gonna take care of you. Uh, couldn't be in better hands. Don't worry. I'll be back up in no time. Uh, oh, Chet. Hey, 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 be careful. Oh. Oh. Thank you, Bruce. I'll just catch my breath. Just give me a moment, please. It's all nonsense. What is? Freeze's magic cure-all. It doesn't work as intended. Take a look.
Lotus, Megavirus. Only one known survivor, Riddler. Freeze thinks his blood is now a key to unlocking Lotus's true potential. The bioscan of Riddler's body, I used the analysis you sent me to simulate its interaction with the virus. And the bat computer promptly found holes in Freeze's calculations. It appears that Lotus can be synthesized into a restorative agent for the human body. A remarkable one. Well, Freeze got that part right, but... But as soon as Lotus repairs any physical problems, it causes irreparable damage to the subject's brain chemistry. It drives you insane. It's what Riddler meant when he said, I wasn't always like this. All of these people, all of them trying to kill each other, for something that will make them as deranged as he was in the end. We all should know by now that miracles come with a cost. Lotus is nothing more than a poison. It's only because they think they've found Eden, a way to cure all of their problems. Men rarely share their prosperity, even if it brings them ruin. The fools. Run the simulation again, then forward the readings to Special Agent Imana Vesta. Ah, I already ran it several times myself. Uh, I... I wanted to, to be thorough. Silly notion, I know. My problems are purely psychological. My real cure is a very long vacation. Somewhere far away from Gotham. A place where the sun actually comes to visit. <laughs> I might even come with you after all this is over. Well, I shall hold you to that, but you can't bring your bat suit. Avesta. I read your report. The serum makes the whole thing beyond dangerous. Did you find out where Waller's keeping Riddler's blood? Yeah. She's got the area on lockdown, but I think I can get myself in. And then I'm taking these things off the table. Permanently. Just... hold on. Let me find a way to help. You've got to be around in case John finds Harley. And this needs to be done quickly. I won't let Waller turn the Agency back into something like Sanctus, Bruce. The vials have to go. Good luck. Let's get you somewhere more comfortable. Oh, Bruce. Uh, Tiffany's up there. She's probably wondering where I hurried off to. Sorry, Albert. We can't risk you falling again. Very well. Oh, we, we mustn't keep Tiffany worrying any longer. She's done quite enough of that the past few days. Ready? I'm afraid that's all we do. Worry the ones closest to us. Okay, yes, thank you. The doctor is on her way. How are you feeling? Well, better. A little more rest and some tea and I'll be as good as new. Make that a lot more rest, Alfred. You're hurt. The only thing hurt is my pride. Which, sadly, even the doctor won't be able to fix. You can put up a strong front, but I'm not leaving your side until the doctor arrives. Got it? Understood. Be straight with me. How worried should I be? You don't need to sugarcoat it. I just need facts. I'll let Alfred tell you himself. I told you, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm sorry, it's just... There's a lot more to worry about right now than me. So... Bruce, um, after our little talk at your office, I had an idea. There's something I want to show you. So, I've been working on this in my spare time. 
I remember you said you could use the help. You know, when you're Batman. I started thinking about a tactical suit, in case I'm ever needed in the field. para aramid synthetic lining. Photo-adaptive suit coloring. Full-spectrum, full-surround heads-up display. I should be able to get the mesh fabricated in no time. I'm getting ahead of myself. The last thing you want is me out there on the rooftops with you. This wasn't all just about me. You've been going up against some heavy opposition, Bruce. More than usual. Alfred told me how Bane nearly killed you. So I designed you this. That's a gun. Let me read you the specs. That man doesn't use guns, Tiffany. You mean, at all? I guess I've never seen you use one. But I didn't realize that was, like, a rule. I don't use a gun, because Batman doesn't kill. Okay, I get it. Still, criminals are always trying to kill Batman. Are you telling me you've never once considered a gun? Just to even the odds. It's a no-brainer. Never. It would violate my code. So... Batman has a code? Without it, I would become... the very thing I hate. Listen, I should have thought it through more. I just got so caught up in the design, I didn't... I have a lot left to learn. Don't be so hard on yourself. I have to go. We'll be waiting right here. John? <laughs>